There we go. Okay. Uh, I'll try to keep it under five minutes, but I do have to, I do have to chat with DJ who just pulled in the, the garage uh, before we get started on mailbag. So I'm going to do that first. All right, um, where are we at? Let's see here. I don't have anything to sit on or my box yet. I can get everything together, but hey, five minutes, just like I said, so good on that point. Hang on one second here. I hope you guys can hear me again. Uh, okay, well, um, <laughs> I must not have put the magic box away where it belongs. Oh, I bet it's right here with the pillow. Let's find out. So it is. All right, good. Got that going for us. Okay. Hope, hope, hope. Don't go in this closet, kiddos. Nope, don't do it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hang on. Here we go. Hi. What are you doing, Dabloonie? Okay. 
well, you know, a little late, but moving fast. So we have a C. Oh, okay. One more try on this. Oh, perfect. All right. That flip. And hey, 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 hey. No fighting. No fighting today, kids. All right. Let's see where we're at. You guys check the bottoms of my shoes for stuff, okay? See if I got any gum on there. Can use some. Let me know. Where are we? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. All right, I see everybody on Discord's decided it's time to decorate for Halloween. Uh, and you're absolutely right. So uh, what am I going to say about that? Um, I don't know. You're absolutely right. <laughs> we will get to it. Around here, I can see the Discord's already decorating, though, so that's cute. All right, I know there's one letter in this pile somewhere, if I can find it. Ah, here it is. And, uh, oh, it's eagles. Um, very cool, bald eagles. I uh, have to tell you about news for the week. What could we possibly have that would be news for the week? Um, well, you know, Bill and Quid, uh, everybody, all the younger kittens here, like Dabloon right here, who's taking her collar off. I saw it upstairs somewhere. Um went to the vet for their regular checkup and vaccines this week, and Bill and Quid got a little bit of extra attention because um, their weight's been fluctuating, not in a great way, and um, Quid has been having real bad diarrhea. So uh, we've been keeping a real close eye on him and on Bill, and it's hard to say so far what's going on. We've got extra blood work we're still waiting on the results from. Uh, probably will come in on Monday if I had to guess. Uh, so we'll find out then. And meanwhile, we're treating him with vitamin B12 and probiotics and uh, subcutaneous fluids. And we're not yet doing any of that for Bill. Um, and uh, just because he doesn't seem like he's dehydrated, he doesn't seem like he's, he's doing poorly. He's got firm poops. They're not, you know, I don't have to get into the details of them, but they're not diarrhea is the point. And... Uh, Generally, he just doesn't seem like he's in any kind of bad shape, although the weight chart looks, you know, you look at it and you're like, how can a kitten that's surely got to be two months old by now, how can he weigh less than a pound? And I have no idea how to answer that, but um, I think it has to do with his pear shape and it's slowly kind of resolving. I, doesn't matter. Uh, we've got a follow-up appointment at the vet on Wednesday and I'll bring them both and we'll see if, uh, you know, what kind of progress the vet thinks that we've made since then. This shirt is so flimsy. It's just not holding this mic very well. I should have put on something else. You know what I need is one of those, like, like just a priest collar to hold the mic uh, or maybe a choker. No, that wouldn't look good. Um, and I can't wear a priest collar. Uh, something like that though. They make, they make fake collars for guys who want to like wear a nice shirt under a suit and not actually have one, right? That would look great if I just wore that and, uh, and my t-shirt. I'm sure that would just go over fine. What am I talking about? Um, I was saying uh, that Quid and Bill both seem like they're doing pretty well to me, though, if I had to say. Quid's diarrhea doesn't seem like it's getting any better, so that's not what I would want. Um, but they both are eating great. They're both fairly active. I'm trying to make them rest most of the day, and they are, so that's good. Um, but they're not lethargic or anything. You know, they get up, they run around. When the food comes out, they're running, they meow, they're, you know, all the stuff. They're doing, they're doing okay. They get uh, to and from the litter box, too, which is nice. Uh, so, um, yeah, we're just, we're just keeping an eye on them. I know you haven't seen much of them on the stream, and the reason for that is I want to make sure that they eat as much as possible because they're, you know, the calories are the number one thing that we've got to make sure that their bodies are processing the food and that they're getting those calories in so that they can grow and get healthy and all the stuff they need. So that's number one, in my opinion, is making sure that they stay hydrated and fed. Um, and uh, that's why they've been separate is so that I can keep them with the, the, the food that they need, uh, which is, by the way, the, the vet GI diet and uh, plain chicken. Um, I can keep them with that food all the time then if I have them on their own, away from everybody else. If I tried to do that with everybody else out, everybody else would just eat that food because it's high value food for them. They love it. So um, that's why they have to be put away and they're not on the stream very often. And I do apologize for that because they are adorable little floofers. Um, but, but what I would say is they're doing very well. Um, and, uh, and I do, I get them on the micros as often as I possibly can. So I think that's about the best I can do for right now. Uh, all right, so that's the only news is, is watching out for those two. Everything else is kind of in a holding pattern, I think, for the moment. Um, I have mentioned a few times that we've got a lot of people that are helping out with things, uh, kind of starting with the people that are the admins on Discord. 
Um, and I've mentioned BusyCat, and I've mentioned Ruby Sunrise, and I've mentioned uh, Philly Mouse and the, the Facebook page, and uh, uh, you know Ninja Chris's stuff and all that. that those are all fantastic, and I, I just I love everything that everybody's doing. And like I said, I'd like to help um, either bring more attention to that, or you know help those people get directly involved in in Kitten Academy stuff, you know, and everybody else too. And we're we're working towards it. It's going to be a slow process. But the cool thing is that, that at least so far the admins are trialing stuff and they are not being slow about it at all. Uh, you've probably seen more uploads than you're used to all the time and that's entirely on them. Um, and uh, we're, we're planning on sort of um, expanding that to upload the mailbags and all the other stuff that's been missing and also getting caught up on the blogs. So I'm just, I'm just couldn't be more excited. Um, that's everything for news though. So so I guess it's time to start opening some stuff. Um, let me take a little water here and check to make sure everything's going okay. Hi, buddy. Okay, let's just check the chat real quick. Oh, I see. A teaspoon update from Kiki Meow Mom. Yeah, that's a good question. Teaspoon, actually, the only update for Teaspoon is also he seems to be doing fine. And the reason you haven't seen much of him is that he's also on a special diet, uh, which is coincidentally the same. So uh, it's been real convenient to just kind of keep him with them. Also, there's the fact that DJ has been on night shift. She just got home from work a couple minutes ago, like you saw. Uh, and um, that she loves teaspoons, so I've been keeping teaspoon, kind of letting him stay in the office with her all day too, which is just, you know, it's just double. Uh, that way the kittens that need the extra food stay in there with her. Teaspoon stays in there with her. Uh, she gets what she wants. They get the food. It works out. And then in a few hours, um, I will probably switch them out then. Uh, that way she can have access to uh, this little guy who's one of her absolute favorites. He's sort of Tommy 2.0 and, uh, uh, she loves him being up there and always wants him to come up and snuggle with her. The trick is, I can't really let him in there with those kittens. Not only will he eat their food, but uh, he and his sister are, I'd say, second and third place as far as being uh, growly at the, the smaller kittens and everybody else. Um, with first place uh, being held by Drizzle still. And none of them are, are especially bad. They're not going to start a fight or anything, but, but they just can't let go of it for some reason. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, this is so cute. It's got a little kitty. Oh. Hey, Serenity. Serenity now. Okay. Uh, it's got a kitty and a puppy holding a bunch of hearts, and it says love is a four-legged word. And then inside it says, oh, so cute. Inside, inside the thing is so cute. It says, dear Bill. I was shopping for you uh, a new toy, but realized I was wanting coffee. Then I decided to get Mr. A and TJ a gift certificate for coffee. That's so sweet. So you'll get a gift next time, but I decided they would need coffee to keep up with you and all your brothers and sisters. Thinking of you with love, and thanks for the endless fun and shenanigans, Ginger Cat Lover. Uh, thank you so much for the, the Starbucks card, which I will put in here. That's wonderful. Thank you. Ooh. All right, uh, these kittens are a little bit rambunctious. I should put the camera on out there too. The light out there is not great, but if I have it on, then we can at least see what they're doing out there. I think, let me just check it real quick. I know, uh, let's see. Well, I see the toy that I put down this morning went behind the boxes that are out there and is trapped. Hey, ah, so Hey, when they start making noise, that means settle down for a minute. Uh, they're fine. They're not, they just make a lot of noise. She knows how to play with these kids. All right. I don't know which camera to take away. Um, there you go. You guys can switch that if you need to, but they keep going over there because the toys behind the boxes. So, all right. Um, uh, thank you so much uh, for the Starbucks card. I really appreciate that. Um, it, it it's super helpful for me. DJ probably is going to be the one that ends up using it because she goes there more often. But um, we have, I have started to make a, a real effort to go out more often uh, with DJ. So, so there's a good chance uh, I can end up uh, using that myself. We'll see. Uh, it's also the Starbucks coffee is the one that I tend to make here at home these days. Um, 
And, uh, you know, I can use it that way too. So, okay. Uh, for endowments to help fill up endowment box from Jackie. All right, Jackie, thank you very much. Was there a, uh, just going to check here. Okay, nope, just getting Academy. Jackie, thank you very much. What have you sent for endowments? Let's see. Ooh. Oh, oh, you know what? These kids love springs. Oh, yeah, I've seen them uh, discover springs not too uh, um, long ago, the younger ones. And, um, and that's why we can never find any around here. i got to start throwing more of those out uh, around the, the house because they they, they're the ones that get lost the easiest or stuck in things, I think. There's one. Okay, good. They still, they don't have none. Uh, anyway, Jackie, thank you so much. Springs are always a big hit, and uh, um, these little plastic springs are fantastic. So that will be a wonderful endowment, um, and I will put it right there for the moment. And then this has got to be based on the weight mylar balls. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, more than mylar balls. Look at that. It's not only mylar balls. It's also uh, bags of other kinds. We've got the little uh, felted balls and little Charlie balls, and we've got ooh, rattle mice and more springs. That's a nice set of the all of the like classic small little cat toys for cats to bat around and chase. This is this is good stuff. So uh, Jackie, I think it was. Thank you very much for that. Wonderful. Okay. Um, that's that's all stuff that's perfect for endowments. These kids are just going to love it. Um, okay, let's see. Let's just take this next. It's right here. It's got all these stickers on it. I have to cross my legs, I think, to put it down in front of me. And uh, they're fall stickers. It is that time of year. I don't know what happened to summer. Um, I cleaned out one garden one time this year. And... Uh, yeah, it's it's bad out there. Things are not looking good in our garden. Um, so, yeah, next year. There's always next year. But, uh, yeah, fall has really snuck up on me. It is a beautiful time here in Connecticut, though, for, I don't know, maybe a month. We get all the leaves changing color, and it is the, just the most gorgeous thing because it's just all trees out here. It's, it's lovely. Uh, and then the trees are bare, and we have winter, and uh, it's not it's not as lovely, I guess, uh, for a while. Not that winter's bad. It can be real pretty, but um, you get a month of winter, and then the snow's all dirty, if there's snow at all, and you're just tired of the cold, and the trees are bare, so you can see all your neighbors a little too well. Um, yeah, so, but fall, best time of year. Uh, so here we go. The note. Okay, to read on stream. Good. It says, Dear Mr. A., Hope you and Dr. DJ are doing great, and thank you both for all you're doing for mom, cats, and kittens. We've missed, uh, I've missed a lot on Discord and the stream, but now that summer is over, I'm finally playing catch-up on the continuing saga of the Meowers and the Petty Cash families. I knew it was about time to send the graduation carrots, <laughs> and I got so lucky that when I bought them, something told me to grab one extra. Lo and behold, within days, baby Bill arrived. He's so adorable. So, included in this shipment are the carrots, of course, but there's a little something extra on Bloon's carrot. It's a tribute to her name. Uh, coins from Mobile Mardi Gras parades by the Knights of Revelry that my husband used to ride in on Mardi Gras Day. Wow, um, I don't know what most of those words mean when you put them together like that. It says, okay, it's the third oldest parading society in Mobile. I see, Mobile, not Mobile. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Uh, one year, he got transferred to a different float uh, so that a famous musician who just passed away could ride in his place. There's also a little silly something for Miss Sprout, just because it's named Sprout and features a carrot. And I've been holding the bank robbing cat burglar toys for a while, but the B&B sisters beat me to sending them in so they can go to Till's Endowments. The treats are a local. Uh, the treats are local goodies to help you keep your strength up while you cat herd all of these precious kitties. The honey is made by a, a fellow my husband and I went to school with. Oh, wow. Um, uh, it's so nice to be back. Not sure where I've been, though, and I'm getting caught up with the close-ups. I just adore these kittens. Thank you for all the wonderful care you and DJ give them. Love, Carrot Palooza, a.k.a. Robin, and Thomas, Max, Lily, Minx, and Trixie. Oh, thank you so much. It's great to hear from you, and I'm glad you are uh, back. 
Uh, look at that. <laughs> this is so cute. You say, oh, there's a note. Uh, it says, oh, I almost forgot about the little training carrot. It's for immediate deployment for the petty cash Chinese to practice killing carrots before they receive their graduation carrots. <sighs> oh, that's pretty fun. I, I will immediately deploy it then just because it's silly. Um, there's still one of the very oldest big carrots uh, in my office, which I think they've, they've seen and played with a little bit lately. Um, but uh, it is that one's kind of worn out. The catnip in them doesn't last forever, and uh, I think it's getting a little old. Um, but uh, this, I think, should be fun for them, too. So we'll put a little bit of the included catnip right in there, and then we'll just put it out right in front of me, and we'll see what happens. Uh, my guess is that with the catnip, it's going to be the big uh, kids or the faculty that's going to go for it first, but you never know. So, all right. <laughs> This is cute. These are um, napkins that have little uh, Van Gogh kitties on them, I guess. Uh, do you say Van Gogh? I don't know. Some people do. Uh, here we have, all right, uh, our carrots. This one is for Bill. It says, uh, with love, from Carrot Palooza Gang on it. Very cute. And they've each got a little felted carrot, too. Okay, this is for the Duchess uh, Duchess de Balloons. Oh, and it does have little coins in it. Uh, that's cute. <laughs> They're like Halloween money. They have bones or pirates or something on them. I see that. That's very cute. Oh, they clink too. That's a nice sound. All right. Uh, this one is for Ledger. All right, do you want to get into some right now, buddy? This one's for Till. We have quid and farthing. Okay. Hi, buddy. What are you doing, huh? Uh, there's one more. Is there one more carrot? That might be all the carrots. Let's see. This is so cute. You're right. It says sprout, and it's a little girl uh, made of yarn wearing a gardening hat and carrying a pitcher of water and holding a carrot. And uh, it says the string doll gang, apparently. And it's got a little bell. It's got a little clip so you can, I don't know, wear it or something. And it says, Sprout, make sure everything is green inside your garden. It is absolutely adorable. Huh. I have never heard of the String Doll Gang, uh, apparently, because it says right here on the back that they've uh, been going for 15 years. So uh, I was a little bit out of buying dolls 15 years ago. But it's really cute. Wow. Hmm. That's just adorable. The doll's adorable, and uh, the accoutrements are also uh, really cute. It's got a cute little tag that says its name and has a little embroidered cartoon of it on there. And then, like I said, the clips and a little bell. That's just cute all over. That's going to be super adorable for Sprout's adopter. Okay. Um. <laughs> Ooh, oh, wow, some kind of trail mix. This one says mule mix. And I can see it's got all the checks in it. Uh, I'm sorry, wheat squares, cheese squares, peanuts, corn squares, rice squares, toasted oats, pretzel sticks. Yum. Hey, that's awesome. Uh, mule mix. That sounds especially yummy. And the honey that you mentioned. Uh, Cattrell's Daydream Raw Wildflower Honey. Wow. Uh, warning, do not feed honey to infants. All right, well. Sorry, kids, none for you. You're all under one year old. Oh, I see the burglars with the catnip in the bank. Yes, that does look familiar from last week's B&B Sisters. I think we've got another B&B Sisters this week. And then... Ah, there we go. Ooh, ooh, cakes. What? You sent an almond cake. Well, it got a little crumbly, uh, but that's okay. I, I don't think that that... Actually, it's just a little crumbly on top. It's not even that much messed up. Wow. Almond cake. Well, that sounds really good. I wonder if it's going to taste like a like an almond cookie, but chewy. Um, that sounds yummy to me. I could go for that. And look at that. If I package this tissue paper back up, we can have like a mini tissue pit right here in this box. How about that? All right. Well, uh, thank you very much um, to the entire gang, Robin, Thomas, Max, Lily, Minx, and Trixie. Uh, that's going to be really fun. All of it. Let's see here. Uh, where am I going to put this stuff, though? These. And then the carrots, I will just leave those out. We're going to have to get a box together where we can start putting stuff in. Uh, I should have folded these flaps in before I filled it. Hang on. 
Let's do it back. <laughs> Not much of a tissue pit, really. The tinies could use it. These guys, you might be a little big for that, buddy, but you can hop in there if you want. Yeah, jump right in. It's fine. Okay, let's see. Which box do we think is most likely to give us a place to keep endowments? I think this one looks pretty good. It's heavy, so it's probably either food or litter I can just take out in one go. Uh, one, uh, one go. Yeah, no, I don't know why. I don't know why. No, I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Ooh, it is food, and uh, that's convenient, too, because I was just trying to remember I have to, have to order some. We're going to run out before our regular shipment comes in. Uh, so it is uh, more of the Nulo freestyle. Uh, it's the turkey and chicken uh, that we have been feeding these guys. Uh, some of it's branded as freestyle, and some of it's they've got like some other brand that's it's virtually identical food. That's the turkey and chicken. I, they say for different markets they have different branding on their food, but uh, it is all the same as far as me and the cats can tell. So uh, this is perfect. This is this is the one I buy too. Right? Um, but uh, yeah, okay. Excellent. Um, that is that is exactly right. So uh, who do I owe thanks to for this, though? Um, I'm saying thank you so much. This one came directly to the Academy from Minnesota KA Fan. Uh, Minnesota KA Fan, thank you very much. And now that we've got the food out, we can put the carrots in. That's a good start on an endowments box. And that means these can go in there as well. Even though one's sort of a generic endowments and one's specific, they'll all come out in the sorting. Uh, this can go over here. We're going to need a, a box. Oh, and this has to go in the endowments too, right? He's so cute. She's so cute. That little string doll. That's adorable. Okay. Um, I don't think this can open this. Oh, I don't think it has to. It's torn open already. How about that? Ooh, Fancy Feast. Oh, this is the Fancy Feast Entree Chicken, um, which uh, we uh, we fed um, Teaspoon some of this when we were in between cooked chicken, and he really enjoyed it. Oh, and that's exactly what it is. Some more McDee's, as you called it, for Teaspoon, since he liked it so much, from Joe and Haffers. Joe and Haffers, thank you so much. He does like this. Um, it is. Yeah, I was calling it McDee's because I cook chicken for him and the other cats. I buy... Um, what I've been doing is I've found, even with stuff... Uh, you know, frankly, being um, expensive, like everybody's been talking about, and uh, chicken in particular being one of those things, um, I'm able to get chicken for the cats cheaper than I think I've ever had chicken in my life. Um, and I just go to our local supermarket and uh, buy the chicken for humans, so it's not like I'm getting super cut rate chicken. Um, but the butcher at the supermarket um, packages all of the chicken thighs together in these giant trays. I don't know what humans make out of that much chicken. I mean, I, I make like uh, all kinds of shredded chicken stuff for myself out of it, so I guess that must be it. Anyway, a giant tray. The chicken in there is just a buck ninety nine a pound uh, for uh, just, just thighs, and they've still got the bones and the skin on. But I can do the whole. I just cook them whole, and pull the bones out at the end, and uh, then uh, either you know, grind it up or, or uh, shred it or whatever the thing is. So uh, my point being. Um, yes, I make chicken for them, and they do like it. But then I bring in something that this is just chicken, can't be that different from what I make, and they go crazy for it. So. It is. It's a lot like uh, we have. It's the it's that meme of hey, we have McDonald's at home, you know. Um, yeah. Well, they are. It's just like feeding a bunch of kids, isn't it? It's fine. It's cute. It's. It's. I think it's cute. So, all right. Thank you so much for the McDees for teaspoon. Uh, oh, this is from Mishi sixty. And it is fur mice. Ooh, the good stuff. Let's see if this, uh, there's a note or not. Hmm. Uh, well, I don't see a note, but I do know it's from Mishi. Uh, so thank you so much for that. And uh, like I said, they are the real fur cat toys, which are jealously guarded, especially by this kitty, the most jealous kitty. She is the one, um, you know, I said she gets all growly about other cats. I really do think it is kind of jealousy with her, and she just expresses it a lot more. 
um, where she doesn't want the other kitties to get her toys. And you'll notice that she, she carries them around and growls and stuff. Um, and uh, I think a lot of that is just sort of preemptive that way. So it's cute. She's just adorable. And it's so silly when she's running around with her toys and growling at everybody uh, when they're not even paying attention to her. And it's like, you know, if you just stop growling, they probably wouldn't even notice that you have a toy. You're, you're really calling them to come get it, whether you realize it or not. So uh, that's adorable. This is also from Mishi60. Six, six, it's 60, right? I don't, it's Mishi anyway. So Mishi... Uh, this is, oh, there we go, Mishi 60. It says right here. And it says another As You See Fit Toys, Mishi 60. So there we go. Uh, perfect. And this one is wrapped up in, here we go. It looks like little catnip fish that are made Halloween spooky. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's a whole bunch of catnip fish uh, that are made out of... Um, uh, various um, pattern uh, words failing me, uh, the kind of stuff that uh, you use for quilting, and uh, cute little patterns on them, and uh, pinked and then sewn, and little bits of uh, uh, catnip, and I know they're going to be a lot of fun. I, the, all the various Halloween patterns on them are fantastic, so they're going to really enjoy that, and I'll put those in here with the other uh, endowments for these kids. Hopefully... Um, they can take some of these home soon. It would be great to see the older kids go home before Halloween. Uh, fingers crossed. It's, uh, wow, it's, I'm sure going to miss having them around when they do go, though, because they've been here for quite a while, and uh, it's going to be different without them. But, uh, yeah, I was just thinking about it, actually. I was thinking about it this morning when I was emptying the litter box. Um, when we've got, you know, uh, three or four kittens here that are bigger, um, the litter boxes are a little bit more to keep up with than I'm used to even. So that's been extra. Uh, speaking of extra, uh, Birdie V, uh, Birdie V, um, I only have the tag because you sent 40 pounds of boxy cat litter. I wanted to let you know it came here. It's wonderful. I left it in the garage for now. Uh, but that is fantastic. Kitty litter right now is a, a wonderful thing. I really appreciate it because uh, our mail carriers got to hate me uh, for ordering so much kitty litter lately. As you know, uh, part of trying to, to get everybody over issues here, uh, I, I've replaced and cleaned all of the litter boxes in the house and refilled them with fresh litter. And I might want to do that a couple more times, if I'm honest. So um, that's been uh, quite a process too. So Birdie V, uh, 40 pounds of litter. I just I, I cut this out and brought it with me to make sure I wouldn't forget to say thank you very much, Birdie V. Okay. Um, I thought I grabbed two things. I guess I did. This must have been it. Well, this just says Kitten Academy mailbag. So it's at the right place. Oh, that's cute. What is this all about? It's yet another donkey. Uh, this guy, though, has quite a face on him. All right, hang on a second here. I don't think this knife is going to cut it. Oh, hey, ah, ah, Serenity, you know. Settle down now. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, oh, he's got a suction cup on his head, too, so you can hang him from something. He's got wild eyes, and he's wearing a bridle uh, and these crazy teeth. Let's see if there is also a note. Look at him. That is so goofy. Is this, this all started because of Donkey Shane, and I still, to this day, I'm not entirely clear on why he got here in the first place. Uh, let's see here. Jack Heard Shane has a lot, uh, let's see, a lot to keep up with to make sure the tinies keep growing. He wants to join Shane and either hang out with the tinies or join in the mayhem of the smalls. Do as you see fit from Share Bear. Oh, Share Bear, thank you very much. All right, well, Jack has a suction cup on his head, but he seems a little wide to hang from a, a window. I'm trying to think if I have something he could hang from. Ooh. Oh, I think I got it. What if we hang him from the bottom of one of the glass tables in the sunroom? Uh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, for as long as he sticks. It's kind of a small suction cup, and he's kind of a heavy boy. So we'll see. Uh, but I think that would be a fun thing to do. I'm going to put him right here and uh, take him over there. Um, after mailbag. So thank you so much, Share Bear. That, that's, uh, that's fun. He's got a crazy look to him, too. Um, and uh, we, I think we can make slightly bigger kittens ride him. So it works out all around. Okay. Um, let's just see what I can pick up next without getting up. 
uh, which looks like this, whatever this might be. I think I'm going to have to switch knives here. This is some serious handmade art right here, but what's it about? Let's see, there's a note. The note can read on screen. Excellent. Oh, there's a beautiful picture of a brown cat. Uh, we know how rare those are. Brown short hair in this case, hanging from a string. Um, that's a really great photo. Rachel Hale, apparently. And inside it says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, this is the first time writing and sending to you. Aw. Uh, this is Sophie, by the way. Excuse me. Um, okay. I want to thank you for all the care you do for the cats and kittens. I watched you on YouTube for about four years. So enjoy it very much. This is a picture of my daughter's cat, Sophie. I've sent you some crocheted bags I had made. She is sleeping in one. You can use them the same way. I see. Oh, I do see that. Wow, this is some great work. Uh, just roll the sides down, and maybe some of those kittens will sleep in them. Or you can use one for all your unmatched socks. Use them any way you want. That's fine by me. Again, thank you for everything you do. Just hang in there. Sincerely, Cindy H. Uh, Cindy H., that is so kind of you. And uh, just hang in there is... Um, uh, that's cute. I see, you know, it goes with your card, but it's always good advice, too. It's, uh, it's nice to hear sometimes. These are amazing, and it's a little bit ambiguous when you say, I had made, whether, like, that means you commissioned someone to make these, or whether it means you made them. I think you mean you made them, though, and it is amazing work. You are uh, very talented at this crochet thing, I can tell, because all the stitches are like perfectly even all the way around. You've got a nice, um, uh, like a finished edge on top, this perfect little tie off at the end. And uh, look at that, it's even got handles in there that are also finished uh, very, very nicely. Um, we've got the same finishing that goes around the bottom edge, where then it goes in, nice flat bottom. It's beautiful, and like you say, um, it can be rolled up. These are amazing. I absolutely love them. And uh, I do think they will make fantastic cat beds. Uh, right now, I keep all of my... <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about this. I keep all my socks in a uh, like a storage box uh, that's in the closet on a shelf. Uh, that might be a little weird, but it just it works because I can just toss them all in there. And then every now and then I just sort of shuffle and uh, mix them around and then just grab whatever's on top to wear. Uh, which is why sometimes you get matching socks. I think today I'm wearing matching. Uh, somebody sent these compression socks that have these uh, like uh, stars and moons and things on them. I, I think they're really cute. And they just happen to be together, so I grabbed them. Uh, look at that. That makes a perfect cat bed, too. Uh, it's just a nice shape, but they're so pretty. And you sent a whole bunch of them. Look, this is lovely fall colors here. We've got this bright pink uh, uh, reminds me, uh, also, it's got this, like, dark, like, purple going through it, too. Uh, and I think if I stand it up, you're going to see if that makes, like, a real even, uh, like, a, like a slashes pattern all the way around. That's very cool. Uh, that's, that's super awesome. Okay. Um, ooh, this one is bright neon. Wow, I thought that pink was kind of neon. This one is everything. It's got, like, this, uh, yellows and pinks and all that stuff. Lovely. Um... Wow, you sent a whole bunch of these. This is so generous of you. Uh, I am going to just continue to believe that you made these until I hear otherwise. Uh, fantastic. This has some great use of color in it. It's got these muted greens and purples and grays down at the bottom, but then the very top edge has the same sort of colors, but uh, with the uh, saturation turned up. I, I'm a computer guy. I don't know. Uh, they're just brighter of the sort of same thing. It's a neat effect. Uh, this one is made out of, I can tell, a little bit of a thicker stuff, but just as tightly knit and uh, like browns, earthy tones, real pretty. Ooh, wow. Uh, um, I'm surprised how, how deep this pile goes. This is fantastic. Look at that. We've got these wonderful chocolate browns in here with some colors in them. 
and then uh, this looks like a like a forest green actually but it's done in with these cyan and browns uh, really pretty okay uh, we've got this various blues and sort of a sea foamy color and some sand uh, reminds me of the beach and then finally uh, green bright greens and colors it's like a it's like a field of flowers it doesn't look like a field of flowers it really does to me like if you go to the uh, Arboretum and they've got all the flowers out and uh, it looks exactly like this hmm. Very cool. I, it's fun how many of these they do look like sort of abstract like things um, that are It's fantastic work and you've been so generous to send these um, And they're just such useful things too. Uh, just everywhere like you say um, to, to have them double as a cat bed is a bonus uh, but those are just nice baskets for everything. We could use them for cat toys and uh, as beds, like a duty. That's fantastic. I'm going to have to learn how to wash this kind of thing because uh, those seem like they could last a long time. Um, thank you so much. That's It's incredibly generous and incredibly nice work. And uh, I don't even know what to say. That's That's fantastic. Thank you. And thanks for watching. It's always fun when someone who has been like involved in watching for a long time talks to us for the first time and i'm like wow it's uh it's it's i don't know it's it's in a way it's kind of like meeting it's it's got a feeling of kind of meeting an old friend in a way like or when you've got a friend that you've known online for a while but um you see them in real life for the first time it's kind of that same sort of feeling of uh um I don't know, it's just nice so uh thank you for that all right here we go. Uh, this oh, this has been I think uh, long awaited. Uh, this has got to be the Charlie I box, and then we've also got a Hell's Dell somewhere in here. I know. Um, so I like this. It's uh, we got the line cut here. Okay. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, I botched it, but that's fine because we got right here. Knife guard. Perfect. You were right on it. Wow. Uh, okay. No, this contains some of the expected stuff and some things I didn't quite expect. What is going on in there? Hmm. There's a note. We're going to look at that first. It says here, Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Enclosed are a worm that got away after sessions of deformer. <laughs> that's cute. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to explain the in-joke uh, this time. That is, uh, that's just cute. Uh, that's a cool worm. It is a, a crocheted like sleeve over some plastic balls but it's it's made just right so that it it wiggles and stuff in a in a very uh pleasing way that's a that's nice okay so that's our worm that got away after the deformer <laughs> a named ring for bill there we go oh that's so cute a named ring for bill and a loom knitted ball bill's friend with his named ring Okay, a mystery. We're going to have to oop, open this up to find out. Oh, aw, look at that. Bill's got a little buddy uh, that looks like a raccoon cat. It's a little tiny kitty with these big, like, classic tabby, well, mackerel classic tabby stripes. There we go. And he has no name, apparently. According to his name tag, his name tag is no name. Uh, that's really cute. I don't, I don't know how that one came about, but that's very cute. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Hey, Tommy. Time for a Tom out, buddy. Replacement Tommy. Tommy, too. Come here. Ah, I'm watching you. Think twice. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was just rude. Oh, come here, buddy. She was looking away and everything. You had to just jump right on her like that? Oh, look at you. Look at you with your Tom out. Oh, my goodness. You need a Tom out. What do you think you're doing? Oh, 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 oh. I got you. You're so fuzzy, though. Mm. Okay. Where were we? Oh. Somewhere right about here. Okay. Uh, two more named rings is where we were. And I think that's what impressed me because these are not your typical named rings. They are uh, very large. Look at the size of that. Um, wow, and it's got some kind of a hoop in it that makes it keep its shape, so it's not just going to fold over. Uh, 
Uh, interesting. I don't know what either of these mean, though. It says two more named rings. That's all for now. But this is like uh, an in-joke I don't think I'm in on yet. Because one says Mothfant, M-O-T-H-F-A-N-T. Uh, it's big. And this one says Sierra. C oh, I bet I know. I bet. No, I don't know. It's C-I-E-R-R-A. Uh, I have a guess I'm not going to make because if it's wrong, uh, then um, I probably, I don't know. I'm not going to make a guess. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> I will say I don't necessarily know what those two names refer to, but I do know this one because we have a named ring for Mr. Whiskers. Uh, you say, that's all for now. Stay safe and take care. Charlie Purse, Snores and Meows from Weirdo and Kevin. P.S. A quid for quid. Aw. I bet it must be. It probably is. I don't want to have to open it and then try to reseal it, but I just want to see. That's so cute. Up, 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 up. <clears throat> okay, there we go. We'll be able to close this again, I think. <laughs> so adorable. And you got a, like a perfect... <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, put that right back in there. Nice and crisp. All right, seal that up. A quid for quid. It comes from the Jersey Channel Islands where I was born. Oh, this quid is no longer legal tender. I wonder why it said Jersey in such big letters on it, but now I understand. So, a quid for quid uh, from Charlie I. Thank you. All right, uh, the quid for quid I should put right in here. Thank you for having labeled the envelope a quid for quid. This is going to go right here. These, uh, well, honestly, because I don't know what's going on here, I don't necessarily know what to do with these yet. Uh, Mr. Whiskers can go there with this stuff. The worm can hang out around the academy, I think. It's very cute. You know what? I'm going to leave the label on for now. DJ hates it when I do that, but I think it's cute. Um, no name is Bill's friend. Does that mean he goes with Bill? Or does that mean he snuggles with Bill? Oh, got a little something on your nose, buddy. Let's wipe that off. There we go. Uh, I think it means he, maybe, maybe it means he hangs out with Bill. I don't want to lose him though. In the meantime, this is so cute. Um, I'm going to put him in here with Bill's endowments for the moment and then, uh, we'll figure it out from there. So that's, he's so cute. Okay. Right in there. And then these two are, um, uh, currently a mystery and, uh, I'm excited to, to find, get to the bottom of that one. I wonder if I should check chat real quick and uh, see if anybody has either solved that mystery or is yelling at me about, like, my microphone having been off for the last hour. Um, let's find out. One sec here. Oh, oh, I see. Those are the names that have been given to the woolly mammoth and the stegosaurus, and that's why they're extra big. Now the answer's there. So I guess uh, Sierra must be the Tri-Sierra Tops. That makes too much sense. Um, and then the Mammoth. Uh-huh, I get it now. Uh, there we go. So our Mammoth is Mothfant. I see, because he's a Mammoth Elephant. Mm -hmm. And Sierra, the Tri-Sierra Tops. Too much sense, you guys. Uh, I didn't get it. I bet I could have figured it out if I were a little sharper. Me and this knife got a lot in common. Neither one of us knew what these rings were for. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put them out then, since these guys are right here and these rings are very pretty. Why not, right? That's so cute. <laughs> Buddy, I don't know. Do you want to hold this in your uh, trunk there? Maybe? Here, hang on to that for a minute, all right? Put it right there. And you, uh, oh, wow, do you think I can ring toss this over one of her horns? We're going to try. Nope. Oh, I don't think I can, though. They're facing the wrong way, too. It's an extra challenge. Oh, so close. All right. Well, thank you so much, Charlie I. That's super sweet of you. And um, I thought maybe we should go ahead and open the Hell's Tales package, too. Right here. Right here since I know we've also been waiting for that. Mm 
All right, here we go. We got a note. We got a bag inside a bag. Ooh, for the Academy. Open now. Merry Christmas note inside. Wow. Well, I like uh, the unambiguity of uh, unambiguousness. Okay, we're going to go with that. I'm making up words now. Uh, of uh, saying open now when you send something that says Merry Christmas because I never know if we have stuff that's got like nice Christmas wrapping or whatever on it if I'm supposed to open it now or save it for Christmas. So uh, thank you for that. Here you say, enclosed are three bags of catnip toys for Till, her kittens, and Bill. The fur toys are all slightly different. And the big plastic bag is for the Academy. Open now, love, Hell's Dells. Thank you, Hell's Dells. All right. Uh, so, Till and Kids and Bill is what this says. All right. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It's got our, our little flags on it. Perfect. Uh, oh, oh, now this is super cool. Freak me out. We have Elton Tom. That's funny. Um, I just deployed the um, uh, upstairs, the, uh, the uh, anarchy um, uh, brain turn on. Uh, whatever. I should. I say I just deployed it. I didn't just deploy it. It's been deployed forever, but I just found it in the bottom of one of our toy bags and threw it where they could find it again. So here we have kids, uh, kitties. Uh, <laughs> we have a bag of uh, Britain. I, is, uh, it's a bag of Britain, right? I mean, what else would be in that bag? What do you keep in a bag like that? Hmm. Uh, and then we have a Yow Catnip Banana. So that's perfect for Till, Kids, and Bill. Uh, I'm going to just put it over here in the endowments box because it's all kind of loose at this point. Here we go. Oops, oops, there we go. Right on in there. We've also got a couple of bags with stars on them, and those contain... What is this? Oh, oh cool. A rocket and a space alien. I see. It's all spacey stuff, isn't it? Is it? No, not all of it. Kind of. Uh, we got another uh, one-eyed alien thing. We have a bee uh, or a fly or some sort of winged insect that looks very happy about itself. We got another one, three of those, and this little guy who, oh, it's an astronaut. That's super cool. This must be his spaceship. Uh, those, are, those are adorable. Okay. Let's put those back in here and call those also for the kids, right? Three bags of toys for Till and her kittens and Bill. Perfect. Do you want that one right now, buddy? I don't mind. I don't think anybody minds if you want it right now. He doesn't want it right now. She doesn't want it right now. That's doubloons. Oh, maybe she does. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, and like you said, the fur mice. That's what this is. Packed full of all slightly different fur mice. Oh, that's got that squeaker in it. Oh my goodness, that's extra. I'd probably cut the string off of it. It's probably made to hang on a door or something, but. I bet if you cut the string off of that, they would run around all day with this thing. Oh, and then we've got some that have leather tails. They do not want to wait. These are high-value toys. Those real fur mice. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're just going to bite it? You're just going to bite it right now on my fingers? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Wow, there's some nice colors in here, too. These are fantastic. I see there's another one in there that's got the little squeaky thing in it. So, uh, yeah, these are obviously super high-value toys. There's a few of them floating around the Academy already. You see them running around and growling about it. So I'm not going to put any of these out yet. Let them take the good stuff home with them. Keep that. So, all right, let's find out. What do we got? Open now for the Academy. Merry Christmas. All right, what do we got? Oh, oh, boy. Cadbury mini snowballs. I want to eat these right now because I am hungry. Uh, these are the Cadbury mini Easter eggs, but they're marketed now for Christmas, too. So they come in just white. Um, and those Cadbury is, uh, yeah, I say it every time. As far as, like, like chocolate you can buy at the grocery store, uh, Cadbury is so good. And the mini eggs specifically are my weakness. I just, I can eat those all day long. So my point being, don't send those to me because I'll eat them and it's not good for me. Uh, I like that you sent the small bag. That's that's just right. I can eat that and not feel too bad. Uh, here you've sent a Christmas coconut toy. It's even got a face on it and catnip you can put inside, as you can see right there. Uh, really cute. That face is somewhat alarmed, as he probably should. Okay. Here we have a uh, Santa, I'm sorry, a, a Santa hat wearing snowman. That works with a carrot nose. 
Um, oh, a Christmas cat toy. That's adorable. We just don't have Christmas crackers in the United States as, a, as an institution, and that's weird considering how much we like exploding things. You'd think we would. Um, this is so cute. It is a tiny little Christmas tree at the end of a wand. And the fun thing about this is I just found this exact same wand, but it's not a, it's blue. The Christmas tree is like blue. Uh, I think it's meant to be like a fish or something in that case. Uh, but it's a really good wand. I found it upstairs and I set it aside especially to be used. So um, that is, a, that's cute. It's a good one. Uh, it's small and you can see already it's not even all the way open and these guys are all about it. Uh, we have another Christmas tree here. It says, Merry Christmas. Okay. You got to let go of it. Come on. We'll play with this later. Now's not the time. Uh-uh, not yet. Ooh, a very Christmas mouse. Look at how sparkly he is. Oh, okay. Raindrop Y. Oh, okay. Now this says, oh, please open now so I can see it. Okay. It should be the same as the red bed I sent a few years ago that you put out at Christmas, the one with the zip-off base and first Christmas chocolate in the shops. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure I know what that last sentence means in here, but maybe we'll find out when we open it. I do know the bed you're talking about. It is a very nice bed with a zip-off top. That top is so sturdy. I love it. You know, we get so many of these beds that, that just are they you kind of shore them up to get them to stand up straight. Uh, you really got to put some work in. Somebody wants an almond cake for breakfast, and it's not just me. Um, so many of these beds, you, you really got to put work in to get them to be usable uh, and not just be sat on the outside. And that uh, zip on top is uh, extra sturdy. It just stands up. It's really good that way. I would recommend. So if this is the same uh, kind of thing, that'll be great. I'm just trying very carefully to open it without cutting the bed because they package these things so tightly. I can see why you didn't want to open it and look at it yourself. Oh boy, that was close. That was close. All right, let's just tear it from here. We can do that. Oh no. Oh no, another layer. You know, I am vaguely recalling that we had to let that bed sort of inflate for a while. Looks like that'll be the case here. Ah, what a nice match. Okay, yep, I see it is the same kind of deal. Um, and it's super cute. Look at that. I was just wondering if we were going to want to wash it first, because I can tell it's had some sizing or something applied to it. Not too much, though. I think it's just got to air out a little bit. Uh, so cute. Look at that. It's got the little Charlie balls stuck on the outside. Those will puff up too. It's halfway unzipped for shipping, but I bet if we zip it all the way around, there we go. See, that lets them shape it in a way that, that uh, stands up a little nicer, maybe. It does have some floofing to do, but that looks real good, actually. It looks real nice. There's little uh, prints from the Charlie balls on the, the pad on the inside. <laughs> Can you see that a little bit? It happens. You know, I've seen when those Charlie balls are when the Mylar balls fall in their water dish or when they're put in the water dish intentionally. Sometimes they just color the water in a way that you're like, ooh, that can't be great. Uh, you know, you change the water at that point, but the cats are carrying that around in their mouth all day too. So you got to hope they make it out of stuff that's not too dangerous. I'm sure they do. They have to be able to sell it to, you know, these, they're for kids and stuff. So, of course. Okay, um, that's really beautiful, Hell's Dells. Thank you so much for setting us up for Christmas, and what a convenient place to put this stuff. I think we should wait and put this stuff out when DJ has her Christmas tree decorating party instead of putting it out right this minute because I really do have to put out Halloween stuff first, right? We've got to give that at least a little bit of space. I'm going to set this right here for now. We'll take that down. That's beautiful, though. I love the star on top, and I love the fact that, yeah, I do think it's going to be sturdy like the Santa one is, and that's the best thing about it. Okay, fantastic. Well, we are just about out of time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. I, I do. I think we should pick this up tomorrow, everybody, um, because we try to do this uh, where we do mailbag for one hour. But if uh, I push it a lot, if I feel like I can get through the rest in just a few minutes, I'll do it. Uh, whether that ends up being true or not. In this case, I don't think that's, I, I can even fake it. Um, I, I don't think that's a possibility. So, 
Um, when that happens, I don't want to push it all until next week. Uh, we'll do what we normally do, which is push it until tomorrow at 11. So when we do it on Sunday, uh, we usually start a little bit later um, so that I get a chance to sleep in. So uh, tomorrow, 11 o'clock, we will pick this up where we left off and open the remainder of these boxes. Until then, I'll probably slide them right over in that corner for the kittens to play on. And uh, I'm going to put all the rest of this stuff away. I'll end the re recording. And uh, that'll be that for Mailbag today. Thank you so much to everybody who sent everything. You guys are amazing. These kittens are so well cared for. And uh, we are too, I guess. Uh, thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Okay. Uh, where did I put the rest of the Space Alien set? That goes in one of these bags, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Right here. Got it. Oh, all right, fighting kids. Hi, 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 doubloons. Are you kids ready to go to your rooms and have some more breakfast? Second breakfast? It is time for 11sies. Almost on the button. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn off this mic before I forget. Well, kids, what do I do first? I think this is the only stuff going downstairs, so it'd be real easy for me to just grab that, go straight down with it to start. Oh, wow. I'll tell you, um, Farthing, yeah, Farthing, she is so cute all the time with their big eyes and their little sleek body. She curled up sleeping on this basket. It's adorable. Let me get a picture of that one before I go. Do you have all these wires behind her? I don't want to see that. Grabbed the first couple Halloween things I saw while I was in the basement, but uh, it was just a ball track and garage, so not much to see yet. 
Okay, let's put this donkey over there and see if that's going to work for us. I realized after I started recording the donkey that uh, as soon as I end this recording, that's going to end the uh, archives. So uh, thanks, everybody. I really painted myself into a corner with this one. <laughs> I'll put the rest of this stuff away <laughs> after the archive is over. See you later, everybody. Thanks so much. Bye.